GCSAA TV takes a look at how superintendents spend their time when they are off the course. Back in November 2013, I chose to resign uh, being golf course superintendent of the last 12 and a half years and opened up my own business called Native Bird Boxes, which we build our own bird houses, install, maintain, and help communities, golf courses, residences to be able to achieve their birding uh, exploration and fun. A typical day on the job would be uh, going out to visit a golf course or a residence or a community, being able to survey what type of a landscape or pine woods that they have uh, in the environment to which they have and utilize that and to assess what species specific bird house uh, could we put up for them to help to achieve what bird would go into it for nesting for them to enjoy. This box is for uh, Eastern Bluebird. It has an inch and a half uh, diameter hole on it uh, that has not been chiseled out by a woodpecker, thankfully. It's a great hobby, uh, and that's where it all began. Uh, as a kid and growing up in uh, golf developments and being able to see our environment uh, encompassed with the golf course, I spent a lot of time outdoors uh, being able to explore the wildlife uh, and nature around us. We build all of our own uh, wooden birdhouses, uh, everything from uh, downy woodpecker, eastern bluebird, to eastern screech owl, to wood duck, to great crested flycatcher, to red belly woodpecker, uh, anything that is going to be a nest cavity uh, dwelling type of a bird. Well, once we've established then uh, the property with the birdhouses, what we do is we come back in seasonally to be able to collect data. Uh, one, we always want to make sure that once we've installed the birdhouse that we are maintaining it to make sure that it is clean seasonally. After that, then we come back in and we check to make sure that they are nesting to see if we've put the birdhouse in the appropriate area at the same time as it uh, being utilized by the species specific bird that we're looking for and record that data and then return that data directly back to the community or the individual that we are working for. The one thing that uh, made me take the complete step to walk away from being a golf course superintendent was some of the extra stress and the anxiety that we exhibit as a golf course superintendent. We are under a tremendous amount of stress on a daily basis. It's just not the golfers, but it's our day-to-day -day working with the environment, trying to produce a golf course to the want and the desire of each of our specified communities and golf courses that we work for. And what I was looking at was being able to walk away from that to go into what my hobby was giving me my pleasure of on a day-to-day -day basis of how I could change my gears and change my life and to be able to still give pleasure to others with something that I could help to provide. Through the last uh, 17 years being here in the Naples area, I uh, had the opportunity working as assistant golf course superintendent and then as the superintendent for the next 12 and a half years at, at La Playa Golf Club. Uh, at that point, I was also involved with the Everglades Golf Course Superintendents Association. Uh, started on the board and worked my way all the way up through being president of the board, which gave me plenty of contacts and a lot of additional camaraderie with individuals. That way, I also felt comfortable being able to step away from being the golf course superintendent into native bird boxes solely because of my contacts, my friendships, and the colleagues and the trust that they had in me already, knowing that I would do a good job and provide the service well for them.